and this is a carrier signal which is of continuous waveform in nature. So at the point when the signal is having one, that means presence of the information, these two are getting multiplied, you are able to get the VASK signature. At the point where it is zero, there is absence of VASK. Again one it is one, zero absence it is zero. And it is two times one, so you can see the width from here to here, the width is increased. You are able to see that. Here, the width that you are getting in this direction, between these two points, you are able to see the difference. Once again, when it is uh, at this point, it is zero, so absence of the signal. When it is one, it is presence of the signal. So this is how you represent your amplitude shift k. So now what is it that you are concluding? The output shifts between the two amplitudes. This is what you observe. Where is it shifting between Vm into Vc, that is this point, and Z. So hence it is referred to as amplitude shift k. Since the output is shifting between the two amplitudes, Vm, Vc and 0, you call this as amplitude shift k. So, actually what happens, whenever you tune to, I think some of you must be listening to the radio transmission. When you are shifting, you are actually tuning the circuit to different frequencies and if there is closely switched interval of frequencies, when you are tuning, there is a slight change and amplitudes get uh, shifted. So earlier was analog devices, now it's all digital. So what happens is small differences are integrated in terms of the discrete uh, signals and when you tune, you will be able to fine tune uh, in your mobile phones also. You have tuner circuit and you also have a mobile uh, fine tune. So when you fine tune, you can stay tuned to a particular station. So that is the advantage of this digital modulation. And this is the block diagram of uh, ASK. This is a block diagram which is used to generate ASK signals. What do you have? You have an input modulating signal, a carrier signal, a multiplier and these two get multiplied and what you get at the output is ASK that is amplitude shape feeling. So this is, this is the block diagram. In this chapter, we will be discussing only the block diagrams. Inside the block diagram, it will consist of a multiplier circuits, which can be constructed using transistors, operational amplifiers, and so on. We are not going into those circuit details. We are only dealing at the block diagram level, the entire chapter. So it's, it's better to understand only what the input is to the block, what are all the supplies that are giving, and what output Then, let us see the mathematical, not a serious mathematical analysis, a small mathematical analysis. I will come back to this for a series. I will come back to this. Let us see. Next question is, uh, there is uh, a shift in the amplitude because it is amplitude shift k. Fine. If there is a shift in the amplitude, does it shift the spectrum of baseband to the pulse band? What is meant by baseband and what is meant by pulse band? Baseband signal is your signal. Baseband signal refers to your original signal. The original signal, baseband refers to your original signal. Or your information signal. It is nothing but your information signal. This is combined with the carrier wave and then transmitted. So then it is known as once it is transmitted, it is referred to as a pass band signal. So when there is a shift in the amplitude, is there a shift in its frequency also? The question is yes, it is true. So how is this signal coming? 
So what will you do? This is how are you getting this uh, function? Uh, this function how you get is like this. Uh, this is your modulating signal, and you have two carrier waves, one above the modulating signal. This is what we discussed in your amplitude modulation. So this becomes equal to fc plus fm on the right side and fc minus fm on the left side. So this is your frequency spectrum. So this is your fc plus fm on the right and it is fc minus fm on the left. So combining these two, what you are getting is you have one whatever modulating signal you are getting that is centered around this frequency, Fc minus Fm. Another waveform what you get is centered around this point. It is centered around this point. So this is how, as you can see, originally the signal is located here. It is shifted in its frequency onto the left side as well as onto side. Therefore, there is a shift in the frequency spectrum. Therefore, there is a change in the frequency spectrum. Just copy this.